Welcome to my guide on how to bot Pokemon cards using a bot called Refract. I will be making videos going over every single retail site. This video specifically is going to cover how to do Amazon, but make sure you subscribe if you're interested in learning how to bot Pokemon on Walmart, Best Buy, Target, et cetera, et cetera, because I will be going over that in future videos. Now, let's just get straight into it. So whenever you download, whenever you purchase Refract, which by the way, links to everything you're gonna need is in the description below. But once you purchase it, you're gonna install it on either your server or on your desktop computer. And this is what it looks like. You won't have all these purchases. These are some of the purchases that I've made recently. Uh, yours will be blank, but this is the homepage. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is add your account. So we're gonna to go to the account tab here. You can see I already added a test one earlier, um, but we're going to add a new account. So we're gonna go, you have two options. You can either do it by default, or if you have a bunch of accounts, you can add uh, mass input. So we're going to go to Amazon US, boom, type in your login. So we'll do lunchmoneytest at gmail.com. We'll do password for our password. Um, I do use login proxies, I use wealth proxies. Um, and we should have added those first, but that's okay. I'll show you that here in a second. Your 2FA secret. That's your two-factor your two factor authentication code. You want to use this because this way you can automatically log in um, whenever you start the bot. That way you don't have to manually log in to 100 different tasks. Like you, you pretty much have to use a 2FA code. Um, you get a 2FA code by going into your Amazon account, right? And then you go into settings and like security. And then in there, you'll see um, create 2FA code or set up 2FA. Whenever you click that, it'll, it'll say something like can't, uh, instead of scanning, there'll be a QR code. And instead of scanning the QR code with your phone, you'll say can't receive 2FA code or something like that. You'll click it and it'll give you like a string of like 16 digits. So it'll look like something like this. Boom, 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 whatever. Something like that, right? Um, but it'll be like a bunch of random characters and numbers. Anyway, that's what you copy and paste into there. And the reason why I'm not walking you through this is because that would make the video take absolutely forever and I'd have to blur out all kinds of personal information, but hopefully that makes sense. It's pretty simple to do. So we're gonna go ahead and add that account. And then we go into our um, next, so we got the account added. So this is where you would add proxies. I already have mine added, but you would purchase them from Wealth. I'll, again, that's in the description below. Create, your, when you purchase them from Wealth, you're gonna get a giant list of proxies and you just paste them into here and then blah, 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 name it, whatever, and create. And there you go, you have your proxy group. Pretty simple stuff. So there is a profiles tab, but um, fortunately for Amazon, it's not required because all of your profile information is already on your Amazon account. Um, and that's just how Amazon works. Profiles aren't required. So now let's go into, let's, let's jump straight into task because all of the um, all the setup stuff is done. Now we, now we can create our tasks and start running the bot, right? So you see all this stuff on the left here? These are tasks that I already have created. I'm already running on my accounts. You can see all the profitable Pokemon. I'm set up for everything. And once uh, you guys finish this video, you will be too. So None of this will be here for you guys. It'll all be blank. So the first thing you wanna do is go up here to groups in the top left and create a task group. So we're gonna name it, um, well, let's see. What's the first thing we wanna run, run for? Let's say we wanna run for the uh, Prismatic uh, Super Premium Collection because that's like the most profitable thing out right now, right? So we wanna run Prismatic SPC and we're gonna go to group site, scroll down, Amazon US, let's go create task group. And there we go. Over here on the left, we have everything ready. So monitor input. So monitor input is where you input the SKU of the item you want to run. Bots do not provide SKUs and they do not provide offer IDs. So you need a cook group for that, a resale group, a cook group, and that's where lunch money comes in. So this is lunch money. We're a resale group on Discord and we provide all the information that you need to run the bots as well as a, a ton of other things. But you can see here that we have a channel called Poke Values where we have a list of all the profitable Pokemon with what it retails for and what resale is, which journey together sucks, it was a terrible example. Uh, the super premium collections here, it retails for hundred bucks, resells $270. 
You can easily check eBay comps to verify that. I think it had, yeah, because they've dropped a ton lately, so it's gone down quite a bit. I need to update that, but that's why I put the eBay comps there so you can easily check it. All right, so we're gonna go into Pokey SKUs now, and this is where we're gonna get the, um, the SKU and the offer ID. So the SKU we have listed right here, that's it. So you're just gonna control copy, control C, copy that SKU. Oh, that's the ETB. We're gonna run the uh, super premium collection. There we go. Copy that SKU, go back to our bot, paste it right there. All right. We are not gonna use multi input for Amazon. Okay, so proxy list, um, let me explain. I have one set of proxies that I use for monitoring. I have a whole completely different set of proxies that I use for checkout. You don't have to do that. You can just use one set of proxies for everything. It's completely fine. I prefer to do it this way because your monitor proxies are running 24 seven or constantly pinging the website. And there's a chance they'll get banned or like run slower or have errors and stuff like that. So for my actual checkout proxies, I keep them separate. That way those proxies are never running unless the, ta that, unless the item is actually in stock. Then they try to check out real quick. If they hit, they hit. If they don't, they don't and they stop. So, but again, if you're new to this, you know, I don't, rec I would recommend just buying one set of proxies to get your foot in the door because you probably don't have that many accounts. You're probably not gonna be running that many tasks anyway. So we're gonna choose monitor proxies. Um, for monitor delay, some people, so this is milliseconds, 3,500 milliseconds. That means it's sending a ping to the website every 3,500 milliseconds or 3.5 seconds to check and see if the item is in stock or not. And when it is in stock, then it tells your checkout task, which we'll create in a second, to start and try to check the item out as fast as possible. I almost said as fast as humanly possible, but I guess I should say as fast as audibly possible. Okay, terrible attempt at a, a joke there. But anyway, um, some people will go as low as like a thousand milliseconds or 1500 milliseconds. I don't like running them that low. The lowest I'll go is like 3000 because again, whenever you're constantly seeing those pings, sending those pings to Amazon's website, you're risking your proxies getting banned. Um, so for monitor delay, I don't run them that low. Offer ID. Well, let's see, where did I put the Chrome browser that has that at? Got so much stuff pulled up right now. There it is. Here is the offer ID and the lunch money group. We're gonna copy that offer ID drag that back out of the way and we're going to paste it there and what is an offer id well offer id basically in layman's terms it helps you check out super super freaking fast but there is a drawback offer id will check out way faster than if you do not run the offer id but there's a drawback and i'll get to that in just a second but first i want to tell you that you never want to use third-party vendors and you never want to buy used products okay so or maybe some products you do but not for pokemon cards so price min and price max. So price min, eh, but price max is very important. It does not work when you run offer ID. And so Amazon, they're, they're scalping scumbags, okay? I, I, terrible, they're ruining a children's game. But anyway, Amazon, <laughs> Amazon drops product for way above MSRP. Shipped and sold by Amazon, not third party. Like the SPC that resells for like over $200, they'll drop it for over $200 at, you know, and that's that's their retail price. And the buy, if you're running offer ID and it picks it up, it'll check it out at $200. Fortunately for Amazon, it's not a big deal because they don't ship they don't charge your card until the item actually ships. So that's nice, right? Um, and you can just easily go in and cancel it. But just know that you will check out overpriced items if you're running Offer ID. I will, I will show you in the next task we're going to create what it looks like and the benefits of not running Offer ID. But you really want to run the Offer ID for most items if you, if you have it. Um, auto start on restart, you want that enabled. That does what it says. It, and it makes a big deal for difference whenever you're running like 50 different tasks. That way when you restart the bot, like say there's an update, you restart the bot. That way you don't have to manually click on, you know, a hundred different things to start. It just automatically starts whenever you restart the bot. Um, notify when offer ID is found. That's good because a lot of items, for example, the Pokemon black and white right now, we don't know the offer IDs really because they haven't dropped yet. A lot of the products haven't dropped yet. So this will ping you when it does drop and then you'll have the offer ID and you can input it. I don't use skip monitoring, max checkout errors. I leave that alone. I do not use loop checkouts because loop checkouts will literally, like let's say you check out, boom, it'll try to check out again and again and again an infinite amount of time. It's a great way to get your account banned. It's a great way to get um, your, your orders canceled. So I just don't do that. 
And that's it for the monitor task. Now we're gonna set up our checkout task. All you do for that is go over here to the top right corner, click add, and then turbo is great. There's a few different modes, but turbo works great right now. We're gonna use our proxy list. In your case, you'll use whatever yours is. I'm gonna use my checkout proxies. And then accounts. So if you have like multiple accounts, you can use you can go to account group and you can select them all at one time. So I'm gonna select test group. Um, error delay. So remember, these are the checkout tasks. They are um, only running whenever the item actually comes in stock. So you can get away with a way shorter delay. I like to run about 1500 on this. Task quantity, you only wanna run one. You really should only run one task per account per SKU. But item quantity, really cool trick I'm gonna show you guys. You wanna run 99, you wanna run 99 because if you run 99, whenever your bot goes to check an item out, it will automatically default to whatever the max quantity is. So let's say that Amazon drops Prismatic Elite Trainer Boxes and they allow you to check out 12 at a time. It'll default to 12. If they have three, it'll default to three. If it's six, it'll default to six. But if you're only running, like if you only run like three and the site will allow you to check out 15, you're only gonna get three and that sucks. We are dirty scalpers and we want to get the most product that we possibly can at one time, right? So we want to run 99 on everything. Hope that makes sense. There we go. Cool. So that's it, guys. That's set up. We want to create task. And um, boom, we got two tasks because I had two test accounts in there. So um, at this point, you would just start your task, kick back and, you know, go, I don't know, go drink a beer or something, kick your feet back. Go uh, do whatever you want because your tasks are running. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to um, make your next task because the, the rest of them are way easier than this. It gets a lot more simple than this. We got this started. And again, um, you can see all the pictures there because these tasks are actually started. Once you start the task, it'll pick up the picture and it'll be all pretty for you. When you go to create your second task, you right click and duplicate. We're gonna duplicate, baby. Now. Now that we duplicated everything we just set up, this is literally a duplication of it. Imagine that. So now we're gonna run the, I don't know, let's say we wanna run the, um, the uh, Destin Rivals uh, Elite Trainer Box. So we're gonna put Destin, I'll just put D-R-E-T-B, right? Let's go back to lunch money. Let's um, get the, we're not gonna run offer ID on this one. So here it is, Destin Rivals. Here's the elite trainer box. We're gonna copy the SKU. We're not gonna use offer ID on this one, all right? But let's look at the value. Let's see, Destin Rival Elite Trainer Box. All right, there it is right there. So we can see that the last I updated, it retails 50 bucks, resells 100, and it's probably gone up because I don't think it's dropped, like except for on target a little bit. All right, so res resells around 100, 105. No idea who the hell's buying it for 200, but it's definitely not worth that. So it's still going for around a hundred bucks. These are all comps today. So still going around a hundred bucks. All right, so it's up for you to decide what's the most you wanna pay for it. You know, some people are willing to go really low profit margins. They'll um, sell, sell locally, right? So if it's retail supposed to be 50, resells a hundred. Um, for, for the example, we're just gonna run a max, uh, price max of $80. So, did I paste it? No, there we go. So yeah, so you want definitely want to make sure that you paste the right SKU in there. So I pasted the SKU in there. Um, you can see my proxies are already selected. Delays are already good for us, but the offer ID is in there for the um, Super Premium Collection. If you screw up, forget to delete this. It, this will try to check out Super Premium Collection instead of the um, Destin Rivals Elite Trainer Box. Make sure you delete this, very important, or make sure you change it if it's a new product. Um, everything else is the same except for price max. For price max, let's say that it's, it resells for 80 or $100. So let's say I want to run uh, the most that I'm willing to pay is $80. That's what I'd put in there. And that's it. Boom. Literally done. You could start the task if these were real tasks and real info. And you guys would be good to go, man. So that's it. I hope this helped you guys out. I mean, Refract is an incredible bot. It's very simple to use. Um, so again, links in the description for everything you guys need as far as buying Refract. Um, joining the lunch money cook group or resale group, uh, picking up a server or proxies from wealth. And uh, if you guys, again, if you guys want to see future videos of me running, uh, uh, setting up bots for different sites, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that like button if this helped you out and make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, I'll answer every question. So don't hesitate to ask and I will see you guys in the next one.